Okay, here is the capstone 850 setup for the MCLA physics department. First, we're going to open up capstone. You're going to log on to your computer, enter your name, username, and password. Open up pass, PASCO capstone. Give it a second. Now, what you need to do is, depending on the interface of what you're using, you might be using a, a motion sensor too, you might be using a um, current sensor, you have to first set up the hardware settings for the, uh, the interface box on the computer. So from here, I'm going to drag that in, click on it. Now I'm using a motion sensor too in this demo, and it's down, you scroll down right there click on it and we are all set I have one motion sensor hooked up and I'm going to run a cart down a frictionless track and you'll see that from the photograph in my, in my setup close that out open up the graph table um, you have others to pick from um, graph and digits and you can even drag and customize it and drag in your own own information display information over here okay open it up and it comes up with a couple of blank boxes and you're going to put the data that you want in there I am going to want position in this experiment I will also maybe possibly want the velocity a velocity curve and other possibility I can add more into here by going up in the corner here and I don't know exactly what it's called. It's called, uh, um, just add another column, insert another column. And we're going to add an acceleration. Now, just for this experiment, I'm going to want to add another one. Okay, yours will be different. Yours may be different. The information you want, maybe not exactly what I'm looking for here. So there we go, drag down. And now we have all the information that we want in a table, table form. Position, velocity, acceleration, and time. I am also going to s give you a single graph here, okay, of position versus time. And it automatically knows that you want time in here. But you could change it. Um, you could, you know, acceleration versus time or something strange. Okay, now I'm going to lower the the sampling right here. Um, you don't have to. Um, I just want less data for everybody to look at. Okay, now I've got my cart set up here and I'm going to make sure things work. And we are going to just slightly push a cart down the track. Okay, and I'm going to do that by recording the information. Record, go. Da, 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 da. Blink. Don't need that much information. Okay, I stopped it. And I am going to look at a position graph. You can move these around. Just like in any other program. Slow that down. And it's a little cleaner. Just like that. There we go. We can extend the graph out like this. And that looks pretty good. If I want a second graph on there, I would just take the graph in and I would drag from the display area and drag it in and it gives me a second graph and I could do for example I could do velocity versus time and once again the time is already set up I just push it slow so we can make it like that and you can see where I got started and the velocity is not really changing because I just push the car and let it go my acceleration should be not changing also. You can drag that in. I'm not, I may I'll do an acceleration graph for you. Just drag that in. And boom, I can't find. Right there is the acceleration. And you'll see. There's no acceleration, obviously. Just where I initially pushed it. Wait, wait, wait a few seconds. But there you go. That's how to do a setup on that. I will also, uh, you know, you have the option to just um, print display one thing I really like is another little little extra bonus I don't want to confuse it we'll cut a cover on another video are these uh, 